Hi guys, I'm Dr. K. I'm a family and cosmetic doctor and in today's video I'm going to talk about the 10 bad skincare habits you need to leave behind in 2021. Pronto! 2021 has been an interesting year with the COVID, wars, conflict, climate change, lockdowns. I'm just happy to have made it out in one piece. We're now at that time again, the new year, new me. Entering into a brand new year, which makes it a good point to take a pause and look at things we can change and improve on in this new year. All of us have some bad habits that we can do better on, and our skin is one of the major things we can definitely improve. So I've rounded up a list of 10 bad skincare habits that you might be doing, but you need to leave behind in 2021. Get rid of these things and you'll be well on your way to having beautiful skin in no time. Number one, not wearing sunscreen. Any skincare specialist, facialist, dermatologist will always tell you that it starts with this. So if you are entering into 2022 and you've not looked at or touched an SPF in years, I think it's time for you to pick up a bottle. Start now. Number two, touching and picking at your skin. And it might not seem like it's such a big deal at first glance, but think about it. Our hands carry a lot of bacteria. We're constantly touching things, we're touching surfaces. And in the old days, we even used to shake hands. So imagine how much germs, bacteria, viruses that are sitting on our hands and then we start touching our face. For the longest, I would get breakouts along my jawline and my chin. And it was no wonder because I was constantly doing this or this or this or this. So I've trained myself over time to just stop doing that. So if you're like me and you find yourself getting breakouts and pimples, it may be worth trying to cut out this bad habit. Number three, waiting for your skin problem to get really bad before you get help. I know there's a tendency when something is starting to bury our heads in the sand and ignore it, thinking that oh, it will go away or it's not a big deal. However, you can't afford to do that with your skin especially if you happen to be a person of color, because not only do you have the actual skin issue, but we also deal with what's called post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, which is the darkening and the scarring that happens after the skin issue. So things like acne or eczema or psoriasis or any other skin issue is more important for us to seek help early. If we wait for it to get much more entrenched in our skin, it becomes much more expensive and time consuming to fix. Number four, not finishing a whole bottle of skincare. I have a short attention span. And you find that you're constantly switching products. And the issue with this is that you're not consistent with your products. You need to give each skincare product or each skincare routine that you start at least four to six weeks before you even think about changing to something else. Otherwise, you won't notice any dramatic difference because you're not allowing enough time for each product to work. Number five, prioritizing packaging and price over product. I'm a sucker for pretty packaging and branding. There have been many a product that I've paid a pretty penny for only to find out that it was Wah, wah, wah. So don't be like me. Take the time and research the product. Try and ignore the hype. And another thing is that just because something is more expensive doesn't mean it's better for your skin. It boils down to looking at active ingredients and their formulations rather than the packaging. Number six, using makeup wipes. It's 2022 and are we still using makeup wipes? Ah, honestly, don't, don't, don't. Why am I so against them? First of all, they're not good for your skin. They usually contain dried alcohols and fragrance and you find yourself dragging the wipes across your skin, which is another harsh thing to do. Instead of the makeup wipes, something you can use is micellar water or look into oil cleansing. I have made the switch 
and I tell you, it has made wonders to my nighttime skincare. Number seven, not wearing sunglasses. The news is in. Sunglasses are not just a fashion accessory, but they also protect our eyes from UV damage. It's this UV damage that's associated with certain eye problems and cataracts. And sunglasses come with a filter to screen this out. Sunglasses also help you to avoid squinting, which is something that leads to crow's feet and tension headaches. Number eight, skipping moisturizer especially if you have oily skin. There's a logic in this mentality that you think, oh, I have oily skin. So that means I don't need moisturizer or I need to skip out the moisturizer so that my skin won't get as oily. In reality, it's the reverse. What happens is that your skin is like, ah, where's the moisture, where's the moisture? And it goes into overdrive and it makes more oil. So what you can do instead is that rather than looking for something that's really heavy or thick or particularly greasy, is just look for really light gel-based moisturizers that won't clog up your pores. Number nine, using a straw. Now this one is controversial, but bear with me. I know the reason for using straws is to reduce acidic drinks and coffees, wearing away at your teeth enamel or causing stain. But every time you suck on a straw, you're constantly wrinkling around your mouth. And this can increase the formation of lines around your mouth, which doesn't look very good. And it is aging. And to be honest, sucking on a straw doesn't reduce the amount of contact that these acidic drinks make with the dental enamel. Instead of using a straw, my suggestion would just be to cut out these drinks and swap them for water or just rinse out your mouth as soon as possible after drinking these drinks. Number 10, over exfoliation with devices. I know I'm gonna get a lot of flack for this, but all these devices, all these fancy gadgets like the Clarisonics, the Foreos, this, that, the other, I honestly don't believe in them. And I don't think you even need them. Your skin isn't that dirty that it requires an industrial grade scrubber to get it clean. Most of these things are at best expensive gimmicks and at worst, it's like rubbing sandpaper on your face. Personally, I don't use any devices. I just cleanse my face with proven, reputable ingredients that I know work for me. And I think that is a much better option in the long term. So let me know what you think of my list and if you've been doing anything on the list that I've mentioned. I promise it's a no judgment zone over here. Go on and share. If you've liked this video, then I would really love it if you consider subscribing to my channel. I've also included a next video, which you might also find interesting to watch. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.